What is up everybody and welcome back to a short tutorial video. We are going to be talking about your chain and your belt total stretch. So we are not going to go and fiddle around in the engine in today's video. We're, we have got actually the complete most luxurious to sit in our car and see everything on VCDS. So just a quick heads up to all the people that are new to the channel. This is an Audi A4 B8 2 liter TFSI Quattro. So we will be seeing the total stretch of your timing chain, in my case, in your car. So if you're running a diesel or if you uh, have got a belt, it also shows the total stretch amount. So this can also work for you. So in other words, when we're talking about total stretch, obviously the more your chain stretches, or your belt stretches, it indicates that it's time for it to be replaced. So in a perfect world, which will probably never happen, you want to see your total amount of degrees being out with 0.000%. You obviously, let's, let's talk in other terms, what do I mean when I'm talking about zero degrees? So in other words, how the VCDS is calculating how much your timing chain is off, it works with degrees. So it takes a degrees difference from the crank and the camshaft. So obviously when I'm talking about degrees, I'm talking about them being out like that, where your <clears throat> cam is maybe minus two degrees out and your cam is positive three degrees out or whatever the case is. The total difference between the two. So in this video, when I'm talking about timing stretch, I'm also referring to maybe your belt tensioner going bad, which is actually adding to your timing stretch. Or even maybe a guy that has shifted or maybe have got a little piece broken off or something like that. This entire thing is not just about your timing stretch. There is more than just stretch of the timing chain that could be involved. So like I mentioned, in a perfect world, you want to see zero degrees and zero degrees difference. But we are going to see with our Audi today, what is the difference? A quick heads up, anything above minus five is recommended to be changed. So if you're having a belt or a chain, it is about time for you to obviously go and do a major service on your car. And also maybe find out if all your guides and your tensioners and everything is okay. So let's quickly go ahead. We're going to quickly connect VCDS over here. Um, there we go. I'm going to quickly put my car's ignition on so we can connect to it. We're going to say select. Sorry about that. Let's quickly head back. <laughs> I had the beeps going on. So we're going to... Darn it. Um, okay, so we're going to go to select control module. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the engine. Obviously, that is where your chain or belt is located. And then if you're CAN bus, you can actually connect to measurement blocks. If you're connected to a UDS of a year like myself, you can go to advanced measurement values. And then what you're going to do is you're going to search for CAM. We're going to stretch this a little bit so you can have a better look. And it's this third one over here. So uh, as far as my knowledge goes, if I click on it, it's just going to say zero. Perfect, like it is. I think once we start it, then it's going to actually calculate it. So yes, yours might not be over here in the third range. Obviously, some cars have got more sensors or less sensors or whatever the case is. So yours might be second or tenth, doesn't matter. Just look for the camshaft adaptation intake bank one. Okay, so here it is. Once again, we... It's okay to see minus five, but then it starts getting recommended to change it. I'm not sure from where it's risky to drive your car. Obviously, anything above minus five could lead to the more riskier side. And also, this is going to... If your car is more than minus five, you can have poor performance and also higher fuel efficiencies. So what we're going to do is we're going to go, I'm not, no, wait, your economy, your car's fuel efficiency on economy is going to be worse. There we go. So let's quickly go and start a car up and see if this number changes and to what. All right. Come on, baby. Let's see. No, oh, there we go. Oh, stop. <laughs> Oh my word, that just shot up to minus 5.76 degrees Celsius. And as you guys can see, it just stays there. So 
<laughs> Where did my wording go, guys? I'm so sad right now. I'm shocked. So we are at this point where we should look to actually changing our chain in this case. If you have a belt, your result is the same as mine. It's time for you to do your major service. So obviously, you guys got to know between a belt and a chain, we're not going to go into the difference today. Like um, the the chain can actually hold out longer than a belt, which is true. We're not going to go into the difference and stuff. You're going to go to your books um, manual. You're going to see when your major service, or in this case, your timing belt or your timing chain needs to be replaced. Currently, this car has got 94,000... 94,530 kilometers on the clock. So if your car says your car's uh, belt in this case needs to be changed at 90,000 and you're at 94,000, you might be a little bit late. And I still need to check in my book. I think it's at 120. But in other words, if you do look on the internet, people say that with frequent oil changes, your belt, or in this case, sorry, your chain, not your belt, can last up to the life of the engine. So obviously, if you're having a chain, there is ways you can actually pick up that your chain is actually stretching. The first sign will be as soon as your car is cold and you're actually trying to start it up. So I want you to imagine you're holding a chain and there is some slack to the chain. So just imagine it's a little bit of a slack in a chain. In other words, let's say it's hanging like this. And as soon as you pull it straight, it makes a chain noise, like a ting, a metal bashing noise. So whenever you hear something like that, then you know that your chain has reached like a really extended amount of stretch. And once again, we are not just talking about chain stretch. We can talk about damage guides as well, or a guide that has shifted, your belt tensioner and more. So obviously, if you hear that sound, you know something is not right on your startup. Obviously, with a belt, it's a bit difficult. You won't hear any metal clean noise because there is no metal involved. In that case, you feel got to like look a little bit more physical to the belt, see if it's still soft, if there's no chunks broken off, and how brittle it is, how many cracks is in it, and all of those things. But in other way, in other words, guys, I'm gonna drop this video right over here. I do hope I helped you out a bit, gave you some information. But yes, thank you so much for watching. If you love to support the channel, especially if you're new, hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you want to see any similar video, hit the icon on the screen and I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, peace out everyone.